Hey, how's it going, dude? So first, today we're gonna do a bit of an experiment and see whether we can revive this uh, 12 volt car battery with some basic household products. And by that I mean some Epsom salt, baking soda, and some distilled water. And here's exactly how dead this battery is. As you can see, it's only got 3.95 volts. Now with that voltage, putting a load tester on this battery is pretty much pointless, but here it is anyway. So in a good battery, this style would need to be here where it says OK, and when you put it on uh, under load by pressing this button, it's supposed to go to this uh, green area and show you the amount of uh, cranking amps it has. But as you can see, it's already in the red all the way down here, and when you press this, it goes to pretty much zero. So first things first, we're going to clean our battery terminals and wipe down the top of our battery. And if you don't have a battery terminal cleaner, you can always just use some uh, 400 or 300 grit sandpaper. So in the next few steps, we're going to be removing these uh, battery cell caps and then pouring out the acid that's in this battery. So make sure you do this in a well-ventilated area and also wear uh, gloves because if the acid gets on your hands, on your skin, or even on your clothes, it's going to burn through it and it's not going to be pleasant. And on this battery, these caps can easily be removed with just a flathead screwdriver. There we go. There's one. And here's the second one. And next, we're going to dump the acid that's in this battery into this plastic container. I should be probably wearing long sleeves for this, but you gotta work with what you got. Alrighty, so next we're gonna get about 10 ounces of baking soda, and then we're gonna mix that with about one gallon of distilled water. Now the best way to mix the baking soda with the distilled water is to just uh, do it in small amounts. Just get some distilled water, put it in a container, get some uh, baking soda, and then you wanna stir it until it dissolves into the water. And next we're gonna start pouring it in and filling each cell. Make sure you go very slowly. Alrighty, next we put our cell caps back on. And then we're gonna shake around our battery for about 30 seconds or so. After that, we remove our caps once again and then we're gonna dump the solution in our bucket. Next, you wanna mix about 15 ounces of uh, Epsom salt with about one gallon of distilled water. And similar to the baking soda, you wanna mix this slowly but also you wanna make sure you heat up the water, that way you can uh, stir this and dissolve the Epsom salt into the water a lot easier. And next, we'll fill up each cell with our Epsom salt and distilled water solution. Next, we grab our charger and we're gonna slow charge this battery for about 24 hours on the slow charge setting. We're also gonna leave the caps off because sometimes you have some overflow problem just when the solution heats up, it's gonna overflow. So you don't want to put the caps on and have any buildup underneath it. So again, do this in a well-ventilated area and also be very mindful of whatever you put this over while it's charging. And as you can see, I got this on the floor, so it's pretty safe here. All right, so it's the next day and it's been about 24 hours since this thing's been on the charger. So let me show you what we have. All right, so as you can see, we got about 11.3 volts, which is a huge improvement from where we started, but it's obviously still not good enough. So what I'm gonna do is just to put it back on the charger, but also on this battery, we haven't had any overflow issues, but if you have, make sure you refill these, uh, all these battery cells with the salt water and your Epsom salt solution. And I'm also gonna use this newer battery charger just to make sure our battery charger is not the problem. And again, we're gonna put this on the two amp setting or otherwise trickle charge the battery. All right, so it's been another 24 hours since this battery's been on the charger. Let's see what we have now. Now this time around, I don't know if you guys can see, but we are having some overflow issues. Not a whole lot, there's still plenty of uh, our solution left in the battery, but we do have some uh, water coming out of these battery cells. Here's a look at our charger. We were at 100% according to the dial, but we still don't have the green light, which would indicate this is a battery is completely charged, but we're gonna go ahead and check our voltage on the battery anyway. All right, so first we'll wipe the top of our battery, get it clean. And next we grab our multimeter, but make sure if you're missing any distilled water to add water to these battery cells, you gotta make sure the lit plates that are inside here that you might be able to see, they have to be covered with the distilled water and the Epsom salt solution we made earlier. And here's how much voltage we got now. We got 12.43 volts, which is actually pretty good. It should be 12.6, but this multimeter may not be exact. As some of you may know, each battery cell in this battery should have about 2.1 volts, which would add up to 12.6, or with well within the margin of error of 12.43 or whatever we just got. That. 
Now, even more important than the voltage is how many amps this battery can put out. When we press this and put it under the load, we're gonna hold it there for 10 seconds and then we're gonna take our measurement. It should come down to about uh, 700 amps which is, you can see, it's the amount of uh, cranking amps this battery is supposed to put out according to the sticker. All right, here we go. Oh, that shot down way too much. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna hold it there, see at least if we can hold that at least. Uh, I would say it's probably about 100, I guess, 100 amps it's putting out. And that's 10 seconds. All right, so it can put out 100 cranking amps, that's pretty low, but it's still a huge improvement from where we started. But what you can try to do to raise the cranking amps it puts out is to cycle the battery. And to cycle the battery is to basically drain the battery and then to recharge it. Now you can do this by just sticking the battery in the car and then turning on your headlights. But I got this spare headlight laying around so I'm just going to use this. And you know what actually, I'm just going to attach the second headlight as well just to make this go faster. And then we're just going to wait until the voltage reaches about 10.5 to 11 volts. All right, so it's been a good few hours and we're actually down to closer to 10 volts, uh, but it's okay. So we're just gonna take these off and then reattach our battery charger. And we're gonna charge this for about 24 hours again or until we get a green light here saying our uh, battery is fully charged. All right, so it's been about 10 hours actually this time and I believe we're done. But I say that because not only the dial is at 100%, but we also have a green light telling us our battery is fully charged. And again, we've got a bit of an overflow issue here, so next I'm just gonna quickly clean this up. All right, so first let's check out our voltage. All right, now this time we got 12.66 volts. Again, that's about right. We should have about 12.6 volts. But again, here's the real test. Our load tester showing us how many uh, cranking amps this, can, this thing can put out or whether we've made any improvements. Let's see. God, that's a bummer. <laughs> no improvements at all. It's in the same area as before. Oh well, it was worth a shot. At least it's holding steady there and it's not going into the, to the showing us that it's bad. Well, shows us that it's weak, but it's not improving much. And there you have it folks. So if the question is whether you can revive a dead battery with some uh, Epsom salt and baking soda, the answer is maybe. You just might be able to. Now, we started with a really good battery. This, this battery, again, had 3.95 volts. It's putting out no amps at all. After we treated it with the baking soda and then the Epsom salt, now we are up to 12.6 volts. And I'm wondering whether that's gonna retain that voltage overnight though. I'll, uh, I'll, put, I'll test this tomorrow and make a note of it in the video when I put out the video on YouTube. But I can see it helping a battery that's in better shape. Maybe get a battery that's in the back of your garage putting out only maybe eight or nine volts and it can, you know, you do this, I can see that turning into a good battery, but we won't know because I don't have one of those around to test. But if I ever do, I'll make a follow-up video and we'll know for sure whether this can help a dead battery uh, be good again. So with that said, hope you enjoyed watching this little experiment I did. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and also consider checking out some of my other videos. I'll put it up on the screen as video links so you can just click on it. All right, thanks for watching, see you next time.